conservatives say this is kind of poetic justice. Uh, it, is, it is pretty ironic that Bernie Sanders, he's been the front man for the fight for 15. He didn't even pay his own workers that much. Yeah, and it's not good for him that this even got out. I mean, this is the type of thing that should certainly be kept internal, this type of dispute about pay and benefits. It's not unusual, but for it to get out in this way, um, it, it doesn't look good for him. And it's certainly a sort of a black mark on his candidacy. But I will say that a lot of people are, are taking the opportunity to make this sound as though he's hypocritical. But there are a lot of differences between a presidential campaign and a traditional job or a job that a corporation may hire someone to do because it's temporary in nature. Um, it doesn't last very long. The, the people that are working in these jobs typically work longer hours than the, the hours required of most workers who are unionized. So I don't really think it's hypocritical. I think it shows that unions really are, are a bad fit for campaigns because of the nature of the work and, and just because of the sort of um, demands on the job, time-wise, and the fact that it's it's a shorter time frame. It's not a career necessarily. But These wait a second. Wait a second. With I mean, Bernie I'm in Sanders the camp. Bernie Sanders president for 20 years. I'm in the camp, of course, who thinks this is oh. hilariously hypocritical because he's not practicing what he preaches. That's the textbook definition of being a hypocrite. He's you know slamming other people as being immoral for not wanting to raise the wage, and then he himself, when he has an opportunity to pay people, is not paying them that wage. I get the difference in the sense that it's temporary, but a lot of people work seasonal or temporary jobs. A lot of people work jobs with long hours. And here's the real uh, tipping point, if you will, the real heart of the matter here. Bernie Sanders has argued for a $15 an hour minimum wage from a moral standpoint. He has said that it is our moral responsibility to pay people a living wage. So does our morality depend on what type of job or how long term the job is? No, I, I think he would even say no. And I think that's what's so bad about this getting out. They, they did ratify the agreement about a month ago, but they still were working on certain details and getting the kinks worked out. Uh, so it's so bad that this was leaked. But he also... It's so bad if for you him. Look at it, it's, it's a pretty good look people, at his... It's a pretty good look at his character for the voters, though. Yeah, I think so. I, well, that's how people will look at it, and that's what opponents will, will highlight... Uh, so anyway, slice it, it's a bad look for him for this to get out and for him to end up not paying his workers 13 an hour. But I believe from what I read that the people were, I mean, 15 an hour, from what I read, workers were reaching that 15 an hour bi a benchmark. But once they passed 40 hours, the workers who worked about 60 hours a week, 50 or 60 hours, then it, the average began to drop to about $13 an hour. So I think that's where the collective bargaining, something got lost in that um, negotiation process where they didn't account for the fact that most campaign workers work more than 40 hours. Right. They don't work the traditional work week. Uh, so it's that overtime, those hours that are worked, that right. brings the rate down. Well, I also so 